Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can recover your permanently deleted pictures on your iOS device. That's right, even if they are permanently deleted. So I'm going to show you this cool app that you can get that allows you to do that. So I'm actually going to be flipping my screen over to record my own phone and show you guys how the app works and also how you can download and install it for yourself in your own device. So basically all that you need is your own mobile device and let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, so I'm on my phone here now, so let me go ahead and show you the app and how it works. It's pretty simple. So it's this app right here. It's the Photos Recovery app. As you can see, this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I recently deleted some pictures so I can show you guys how it works. So it basically looks like your gallery um, app in your iOS. So over here, you have a button that says Recover++. Plus Plus. Basically, all you do is click there and immediately all your pictures are back and your media is back in your gallery. So yeah, it's pretty simple. So now let's go ahead and make some adjustments that we need to do in order to be able to download and install this app in our iOS device. So we're gonna head to our settings and then first we're gonna head down to battery. And here we just wanna make sure that we have low power mode turned off. So make sure the little slider looks gray just like that. And also try to make sure that you have at least 10% battery in your device. And now we're going to head back to our settings menu and we're going to click general. And then we are going to click background app refresh up here as well. And select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. Just make sure that you do not select the off option. And now we're going to head back to our general settings and we're going to click about. And here we just want to confirm that our iOS version is at least iOS 11. And of course, anything above that is good to go. But if you don't have at least iOS 11, then I do recommend that you upgrade your iOS before you try to download and install the app just to make sure that it's compatible with your device. Okay, now we're going to head back to our main settings. And we are just going to head down to Safari. And then we're just going to go all the way down to advanced. So let me just show you that again. So click advanced. And then we are going to make sure that we have JavaScript enabled just like that. If not, just go ahead and click the slider till it's green just like that, indicating that you have enabled JavaScript. And that will make sure that our web page where we can get our app loads properly. And that way we'll be able to download and install our app without any issues. All right, so that's basically it for our settings adjustments, guys. So yeah, now we are ready to download and install our app. So now how do we do that? So basically what you have to do is you go to your web browser and what you want to do is you want to type up this right there. So go ahead and type that up and go right over there and you will just follow the instructions on that um, place right there and then you'll be able to download and install your app and be able to recover all your pictures. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. So once again, just go over here and follow the instructions and get your app. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.